Welcome back to the channel. To be honest guys, you know I feel good at all right now. Oh God. The last episode of our trip that we've been taking down to the Southwest, currently in Utah. I feel awful and oh God, I almost didn't come out here. I don't know if it was like the food I ate last night. I don't know what's going on. My stomach is doing weird things and I don't ever puke, but I really want to puke right now because I feel like that'll make me feel a lot better. So this is going to be short and sweet. We are at a special spot called Moonscape. It's a pretty cool area. It's on top of a giant mesa that you don't even know that you're on until you get to the very edge. There's a very, very Instagram heavy spot here that you'll probably recognize as you see it. It's extremely dangerous as you have to walk on a ledge out to the little pedestal that holds up over the canyon. I wanted to go out there, but I don't think I'm gonna go out there feeling like this. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Elias. I'm an amateur landscape photographer. I am normally not this crappy feeling or this sick looking, but I am trying my hardest because this is our last day here. We are literally heading back to Portland, Oregon today. That is where I'm based out of the Pacific Northwest. I like to bring my experiences as a new landscape photographer to YouTube. If that kind of content interests you, hit the subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. I'm trying to make it to a thousand subscribers this year, so please help me get there. If you could, that would mean the world to me. We're just gonna get out, kind of walk around. It's, there's a lot of people here, which I didn't think there would be. I'm accompanied by my fiance and my dog who is scared to death. The road out here is not easy, it's just extremely bumpy. If you go slow, you'll be fine, but it's just, uh, it's extremely bumpy. We're gonna get out and try to catch a good sunrise. Wow, so it is awesome out here. Just as cool as it was last time I was here. Minus the smoke fires that were that kept us from shooting anything from that awful, awful trip. It's really hard to shoot out here because you have the famous shot, the Instagram shot, and then you have all of this expansive badlands of like, what do you pick out? What do you shoot? For me anyway, it's hard because I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what catches my eye and at times like this I get kind of I get overwhelmed because I just I, I want to not miss it because when the light hits it's gonna hit and it's gonna go fast and that's the problem with being somewhere for your first time at a certain time of day you don't know how it works and you don't know how it looks so you might think you want to shoot something and then it completely changes after the sun hits so I'm gonna walk around I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what we're gonna focus on Here's the scoop. The light, I don't know what the light's gonna do because it's a lot of cloud coverage over there, but it's colorful. I don't know what this, it might just be like super confused light. So the light right now is good for that shot. So I'm gonna go out there, stand there. Clyde, do you mind taking the picture with my camera? Yeah, definitely. Okay, sweet. Matt Clyde, cool dude. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'm gonna grab the famous shot real quick. sick is not a good combo at all but it's a lot less scary than I remember looking at it from last time but the view is incredible got Clyde taking the shot for me which is super helpful yeah did it wow it's pretty cool It was 
my turn. Now it's Jess's turn. Just walking out there. Get a nice Pullman shot. We love how that looks. Such a cool spot, my God. sun has just come out and I see these three stacks over here that look super cool and the one on the right is almost like a castle they all look cool together but the one on the right looks super sick because it's like three spires and then a spire off to the side and the light is just just hitting them making it look super cool I'm gonna grab that real quick try to find another photo the, the badlands are starting to light up so I need to find something down there literally this is happening just like that because the light is just hitting everything all at once and doing video taking pictures is so hard oh my god but worth it designs and patterns of the Badlands down below and I, I'm just like baffled on what to take and I see all these lines and leading lines and shapes and oh God, it's just honestly it's overwhelming in some places so I'm just trying to fish around see what I can see I like this line with it looks like a washed out river that kind of stretches like veins out towards the rest of the land so I think I'm gonna focus on that get a shot because the lights hitting it and then that golden light is just so sick but there's so much other stuff out here like that's what I was afraid of happening it was just gonna be what do I do I overthink everything but this one I really like this one
guys. Well, that's gonna be it. Short and sweet. It was a good. It was a good sunrise. Wow. I'm glad I came out here for it. I feel a lot better too for some reason. Still feel sick, but God. That was killing me earlier. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. God. Moonscape is a really cool spot. I was here a couple of years ago with a friend. We were, again, we were smoked out by fires the entire time we were here, so I couldn't do anything. So glad I was able to come back. As far as the photos go, like if you come here, I don't know what kind of, depending on what kind of photographer you like, but I would say it's better to either focus on the obvious shot, the Instagram shot, and the Badlands down below because they are so cool. They have such good designs and unique colors and all that. Oh, it's awesome. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. It's gonna wrap it up for this video and it's gonna wrap up our trip down to the Southwest for spring break. I know this is coming out way past spring break, but that's when I filmed it. It's got, this morning it was only 22 degrees here. 22 degrees, that's so cold. Highly recommend coming back here in the summer. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for staying to the end. If you got any value out of this video, if you liked any of the content you might've seen, any of the photographs, any of the footage, please hit the like button. It helps my channel out tremendously. It helps me so much. I'm still extremely new to YouTube, so any like, any interaction, any comment will be much appreciated. It helps me out a lot. Please hit the like button. If you enjoy this kind of content, see me go out and explore different places that I might travel to or mostly my local area, which is the Pacific Northwest. Hit the subscribe button. I put a video out every single week. Again, trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I know you can do it. Hit the subscribe button. Help me get there. It would mean the world to me. Really stoked I was able to bring some Utah to this channel finally because Utah is the coolest state in America. God, I love Utah. Love to come back here. Definitely want to come back here for some astrophotography. We got a 15 hour drive ahead of us back to Portland, so we're gonna get going. Thank you so much for following on this journey down here, man. It's been awesome. It's been a great trip. Cold, it's been a great trip. All right, I gotta go. See you guys later.